Shalom and blessings. Thank you for being again here with us as we look into God's Word. We pray and hope that the Spirit teaches us something fresh today. We have been looking through the last few days on the faith journeys of men and women written in the Hall of Faith in Hebrews 11. Today for our devotion, we are looking at Sarah, who had the power of faith. Sarah was known as the mother of nations, and we read of her account, her faith account in Hebrews 11, 11 to 12. By faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was past the age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore from one man, and him as good as dead, were born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude, innumerable as the sand which is by the seashore. In her account in Genesis, we see that Sarah had a struggle with faith. The story behind it, as we all know, was that she was barren, and she did not have a child in her age, in her childbearing age. And what she did is she devised her own carnal plan. She got Hagar to, um, to go with Abraham and through Ishmael was hoping that she would have the promise. She even struggled with her faith that she laughed at God when he told her about conceiving a child. This is even uh, pointed out, her lack of trust is pointed out when God says, is it, is anything too hard for the Lord? And it, when he gives her a sign and an appointed time, she comes across with having a lack of faith. But through this, her account is written in Hebrews. So what are some of the aspects that we can look at from Sarah's faith? We understand that there was an impartation of power of faith into her situation. So when the Lord appeared to her and came to her, and when he spoke, even though she was barren and well past the age of childbearing, the power of God's word went through to her and that built her faith. She looked way past her dead situation and her impossible circumstances, and she tapped into the power of God. The second thing that we learn is Sarah embraced this power of faith. She took hold of, she held fast to what God had told her. She held on to what God had told her till the fulfillment of her promise. And finally, we see that Sarah sees the fulfillment of that promise, fulfillment of the power of God that was released. So through her faith, through, what, through her faith, she journeyed in her faith. So she, the power that was imparted upon her was, was embraced and thereby she saw it being fulfilled. So th there may be very many dead and impossible situations in your life and my life today, but we know that the promises of God can impart that power of faith in our lives. And when we trust Him, the impossible gets conceived. So let's walk and know that, the, that as we walk in faith, God's power can be imparted into our faith journey. Let's pray together. Father God, we praise and thank you for the walk of Sarah, even though she struggled in her faith. When you came and visited her, she took on faith, she walked in faith, she embraced the power of your word till she received her promise. Help us in our impossible situations to walk that journey of faith so that we receive what you have promised for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.